And welcome back to Barry's Poetic Session. I'm your host, Barry, a.k.a. The Dark Knight, and my co-host, L-I-F-E, Living Inspiration Forever, guided by the Lord Jesus Christ. And you don't stop. It's happening. Yeah, it's going down today, but first, we want to get a lot of commercials out of the way. Um, for uh, dedication. Uh, yeah, we want to dedicate this show to Grandma Ella um, that passed away. So, and, and you know, if you know my brother-in-law, David, that's his grandma, my grandma, um, and she passed away. So we want to dedicate this show to her uh, and loving memories to her. Um, any commercials? Uh, shout out to my sister. Happy birthday, July. Birthday. Our birthday is tomorrow. And she's in town from yeah. Memphis, which from I always try to get a Greyhound down here. She never, she's like, I ain't catching no Greyhound, and you ain't getting on the Greyhound with me <laughs> down in Memphis. Um, listen, so we got a um, back to school bash is coming. I'm, you almost made me forget. August the 14th, we got a lot of artists in here. We got like um, a lot of school supplies for the kids, and we're going to have the kids off the street come in, and we want to minister to them. Um, I'm not doing any poetry. I'm straight ministering and, and probably be the host of the show and stuff like that. But today, but today, we have a beautiful woman in the studio with us and very in your one nine hundred voice. Can you introduce her? <laughs> today we have the owner of Hounds of Faith who brought us some special gifts. The magnificent Monique Colbert. Welcome to the studio. Magnificent. Yeah. <laughs> Special Ed. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Hey, so hey, you know, you gotta loosen up. We family here. We're gonna <laughs> laugh, we're gonna have fun. All right, and for the people who don't know you, tell them a little bit about you real quick. Um well, you gave them my name. Yeah. And um I am the owner of Pounds of Faith. You can me tell them. I'm not about to. Are you from Ohio? You're from Cincinnati? I am from Ohio. I am from, born and raised here in Cincinnati. Um, worked at Time on the Cable for 15 years before I left to start my own business. Mm. So that's all you want to tell them real quick? Yeah. <laughs> that's okay. All right. And then let me, let me ask, how did you come up with Pounds of Faith? What uh, was the inspiration? Um, well, Pounds of Faith came from my father passed away. In 2012, he was diagnosed with um, pancreatic cancer, mm -hmm. and he died three months after afterwards. So I had to decide whether or not I was going to stay or continue working for the company or leave to take care of my father and take care of my mother. And I decided that I needed to leave mm -hmm. to take care of my, my father until he passed away, and then my, my mother lost her sight shortly mm -hmm. after, so um, to, to take care of my mother. And then um, I basically went without... I got a disability for a short time, but I refused to continue to, you know, say I needed a disability when I didn't need it anymore, so I didn't have any funds coming in. No money, no job, no, no nothing. Lost a lot of stuff, and um, I just I just continued to pray and ask the Lord to ask, to tell me or lead me and guide me to what it was I needed to do. And um, what I heard was, you need to use your gift. And using my gift was... To, I didn't know what it was, to be honest with you, but I baked the cake. Mm. And I baked the cake and I put it on Facebook. And when I baked the cake and put it on Facebook, it just was nonstop. So baking cakes turned into baking bites, baking miniatures and pies and turkey shipping. Yeah, so, you know, what's Pounds of Faith game, you know. <laughs> but I had to ask the Lord about that, too, and that name came from him. So. Wow, what a testimony right there. So, you know, Facebook can be a good thing if you use Facebook and don't let it use you. Yeah. And I want to take one of these. I can't keep looking at it, you know what I mean? So, well, as you... Well, that's a strawberry cream. A strawberry cream. And it's about to be done. You know, I had some before. And so, as I eat this... Hey, come on, smack your mama. So my mom passed in 2012 as well, so I could. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. But I was going to say, um, in addition, so now how can we reach you to get some more of this? Um, primarily, I get so many orders through Facebook, mm -hmm. honestly. And a, it's been a word of mouth type of thing, mm -hmm. and it has just been flourishing because um, you can always, you can contact me through Facebook, you can contact me, you get my phone number off of there. I have a website that's... Um, 
it's in the works. Mm. It's just not to my liking where I need it to be because it needs to represent the Lord right. a little better. So, so you got the Facebook and what do we need to click on to get to, to you on Facebook? My name or you can put in Pounds of Faith because it's a, also a website that's running off of that as well. So. Okay. So Pounds of Faith, like I know a lot of females who bake cakes and put it on Facebook. What I mean, you really stepped out on faith to be like, this is my full-time ministry <laughs> because you're doing your thing. And, and wait a minute, hold on, hold on. Me and this young lady go back, way back. This is my schoolmate, and into um, we reconnected on Facebook. Yeah. And I seen you doing having your own business and. You know, I wanted her to be on the show, and she dissed me, but that's another show. And, you know, <laughs> like, like it's down the road, like, <laughs> you gonna bust me, you gonna bust my case? But I, I, <laughs> I always like to support, and I, man, it was just delicious. I took some to work, and they tore it up, like, they kept, like, and, it, you know, the ladies, like, in my direct department, own diets and stuff. They, I bring them chocolates, because I work with all women. You gotta bring them chocolates and stuff. So I mean, I brought this in. They were like, "Oh, why did you do that? Why did you do this? What is this?" And I forget. It was something like a flower. You made one of those yeah, things yeah. like a flower. They were like, "Oh, what is I'm like, "Why not just eat them?" They're like, "No, no, boy." Then somebody ate half of one. <laughs> then they came back and ate the other one. And then my manager, she came back like, "Oh, shoot, what is this? This caramel thing and inside?" I'm like, "I don't know. You got to taste it." And so I knew it was gone. I don't, um, and I'm not, I wasn't a baker. I really wasn't. What? So it is really a God giving gift, you know, to actually just step out there and do what He's called me to do. So it's a different recipe I use. I don't share that, but it's a different <laughs> recipe. And, and everything is prayed over before it's baked. That's what's so, up. Um, so, yeah. So, what was the here. process? What was the process like? All right, the first time you said you put that cake. That was, wasn't your intention, was yeah. it? To, okay, so what was the process of like like doing this, like getting this prepared? And uh, uh, do you remember your first uh, 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 cakes that you made that you sold from doing pound cake? It was a pound cake. It was just a regular pound cake. And, and I know. put it on there. I didn't sell it, but I just posted it. Right. And people started asking me, are you selling those? You know, are right. you selling them? Um, how much do you charge? And I was going on home. Ten dollars? I don't know. You know, because it really, it really was nothing that I thought about. Mm -hmm. It was just it, it came. Okay. You know, so I didn't think about it. But then, you know, because so many people kept asking me to do it and was ordering <laughs> them, and then they started asking me if I could deliver them. You know, wow. it actually it turned into something more. Turned so, into a business. Yeah. So. Now, so how do you now? Because when I talk to you, you know, you, you're getting more, you, you're growing in this now. Oh, yeah. So how, what do you look, how do you see this being like in two years or three years right now? Um, That's different from now. Well, eventually, I don't, I'm, I'm, I was afraid of it growing too fast because it was happening so quick. Um, but within two years, I think the right. yeah. ministry or the mission of Pounds of Faith is to be able to go out and uh, mm. meet new people and kind of minister to them at the same time. Mm. Um, mm. So that's why the pounds of faith, and like I said, it came directly from the Lord. And um, so I meet a lot of new people, those that's been you know, away from the church or those trying to come back, those that haven't been. And, you know, I can kind of fellowship with them through the pounds of faith or through my bites and ministry. Right. So, so it's a ministry. So before you eat them all, can you tell us <laughs> what are the different kinds that you have? I have different ones. These are uh, caramel. And the lemon, lemon on lemon. So the cake is lemon, and then it's the lemon icing. And these are my bacon, vanilla caramel top, and um, and then just regular cream cheese. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I have mm -hmm. some different ones and some different cakes and things like that. But you have to get up, get at me on Facebook, and you can see what I'll. Okay, because I know we had to kind of get it in before it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> and also. You do short strawberry shortcakes on occasion, right? I do strawberry shortcakes and pineapple upside down cakes and sweet potato pies. Stop. <laughs> you know, but he Joe challenged Joe. me on the sweet potato, potato pie, pie thing, oh, so yeah. you know he was scared to get it, but. You know I'm a jump for junkie, y'all. This is like he wasn't scared to get it. This he is was like it better be right. This is my mama. And you can make a sweet potato cake. I mean pie like my mama. I make cake too. Go ahead. 
Scooter Tedder. Uh-huh. Pound Cake. What? <laughs> 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 no, Scooter Tedder Bites. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, if y'all just tuned in, in <laughs> with my girl, Mo is in the house with Pounds of Faith. This is her business, and her testimony is just awesome. Like, you, you, like, when you told me the testimony, first of all, I think you left some stuff out because it was like, well, I, I feel like I almost crying. Like, what? <laughs> to just step out on faith like that, to, because a lot of people, um, they see the end result. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. They don't know all the sweat and tears and everything that goes into this, this for this to become what it is right now. And it's not just, um, uh, making people feel good, you ministering to people, but also is doing something for you. You know what I mean? At that time and place that where you were at, you know, mentally, you know, the things that you, the decisions you had to make. Yeah. So. So I mean, I went through a lot. I went through a bout with uh, some severe depression, um, simply because I had left my job and I felt like. You know, I had to take care, I had to do some things, and even though I knew I had to do it, I really wasn't ready. You know, so I started feeling that selfishness kind of creeping in and everything. Oh, yeah. But, you know, I love my mother, I love my father, I, I did what I can to honor them, and I still honor my mother. Mm. I'm raising my mother, but I'm not raising my mother, but just caring for my mother. Mm. So, um, I, I went with that. I lost my father's car. I was trying to hold on to, you know, his SUV. And, Things that was just real sentimental because, you know, I love my dad and I miss him. I want to hold on to it, but I didn't have no money coming in. Mm-hmm. And so I uh, had to let it go. So I lost, you know, I went and filed bankruptcy, oh, lost a lot of stuff. And, you know, you just feel isolated from your friends. And, right. and it became that because all it was was doctor's appointments and mom, doctor's mm-hmm. appointments in, in the house, in the house. So I went through a, a real hard and very dear, serious deep depression. But, um, through it all, you know, I know that God kept me. Praise he God. kept me, kept my mind at peace. And, um, and so when this came about, it actually sustained me. Got mm-hmm. me able, it brought right. more money into the house. Right. And, you and know, then you got more social because that's really the yeah, key. That was Being the social key. is really the key to longevity yeah. that uh, we have talked about in the past. Mm-hmm. You, you got to be out there talking to people. And that, and definitely. That so that was a great right. help. Yeah. You know, but the Lord replaced the car, mm. you know, with Come the. Because SUV, and I wasn't trying to get that. I was trying to get a car. That's what I was selling. I was yeah, trying yeah. to go get a car, and um, the car ended up in the SUV, and I didn't want it. Mm-hmm. I did not want that, but you know, after it happened, and the way that it happened, I realized it wasn't about me. It was about House of Faith to be able to deliver. So that's yeah. my vehicle to deliver it. Right. And then, um, and then he blessed me that day with another car. So well, it's cool. it is not brand new, but it's mine. It's all paid for. It's brand new to it's you. Me. So that is my car <laughs> that I will be able to transfer. You know, transport my mother around because I wasn't able to trans. You know, transport her anywhere. And um, so now I have that, and so we'll be okay. That's what's up, man. <laughs> and it's all paid for. It's all paid for. Come on, man. Come on, man. That's what's up. So, uh, how you find time to do this? Like, I know. That's you know, all I have. Talking to you, like, you know, I got this order. This, 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 and that. All these different to, orders you was uh, doing I and making do. deliveries and stuff I like that. I still do. I mean, I, you have to rearrange your schedule, my time. So, sometimes I make at night. It's like a third shift position for me. Mm-hmm. You know, so I might get up at 2 and 3 and just start baking in order so I can get a delivery out of 8 or 9 or 10 or 11 right. or whatever, you know. So. Do what I need to do. I just asked the Lord to give me some strength and some endurance, and get it done. So. Favor. Yes. So listen. So, in, in where do you see pounds of faith going? In, in, uh, pounds of faith is going to help my church a lot. Okay. So pounds of faith, I will. I'm gonna do not a partnership mm-hmm. right now. So we're still in the works. I've been offered that. But it's not time for that yet. I've just been told I need to sit on this for a whole year. So mm. I'm praying on it and praying on it. But I'm going to do something with them, some kind of joint venture, oh, okay. where I can you know, help to build the church. Because right now our church needs a lot in our technology and science and math department. Right. So I want to be able to, um, through word of mouth and through selling through the church, and, and on the streets also, be able to bring enough money in 
to help build up our facilities. Yeah, so you what know? church can you tell us what church is? New Prospect Baptist Church. Stop okay. it. We just had Nadia, Nadia, <laughs> Nadia, Nadia that, um, Ruffin, the, the Nepotini Award winner, she's a scientist and stuff, and she works with me. She's uh, She do hydroponics, uh, and she's doing it, getting the garden together for uh -huh. uh, New yep. Prospect. Her and, uh, and actually, I just went to my first uh, hydroponics uh, class, and it was uh, good. And um, Damon Lynch IV was there, so right. he's helping her to establish their garden. So okay. she's doing yeah. it. So New Prospect is doing some things. Yeah, so we're that's trying to. We're trying to. And I want to be a, a big part of that. Okay. You know, I want Pounds of Faith to be a big, a big part of that. And it will be. So right. um, there's no mistake in that. I'm right where I'm supposed to be. At, okay. So, And eventually, I want to, we, we did a, a tasting where we took and did a, um, we did a raffle. And all the money went to a cancer survivor, not to the foundation, but actual to the cancer yes. survivor to help right. them with their bills and whatever they, whatever they was going through, what they needed help with. So that was good. That was great. You know, so. Yeah, so you did an event at Sugar Hill. You want to talk about that, too? I, I know you had the pictures out on Facebook and stuff <laughs> like that. Look at more of it as, as your um, deepest self oh, with all your cancer uh, stuff. And I was like, oh. <laughs> and I ain't gonna tell him. I ain't gonna tell him when we do my first purchase. Oh, what you okay. saying? We ain't gonna tell him. We're not supposed to bet you. We ain't gonna talk about that. Everything was looking good out of the display. So tell us about the, how that came about. What the, um, Sugar. Well, I decided to do it because I just believe that it's gonna take me into different market or different areas where you know I had people e in inbox me like, why are you going to do pounds of faith in? Are, you know, but you know, you have to go where the Lord sent you. Right. So, in, in the process, I met people that was coming from the other bar coming over right. and asking right. me questions. So, yeah. I was able to you yeah. know, talk with them and things right. like that. So, it doesn't mean that we were in there, you know, getting drunk and, right. and things yeah. like that, but it served the purpose. And I, through that, I met new people and right. um, invited them to come out to you know, worship and fellowship with us. Right. And I don't know if some of them showed up or not, but <laughs> but at least I put the word right. out there. You're doing it. You know, so so what? Positive. So how uh, how the event came about? Because I know it was somebody else was. Yeah, the event. event was with Markel and Benai, okay. and they are uh, the first African American wine makers. They own their own business, which I think is somebody good. You might need to talk to them. Yeah, let me know. You know, so um, yeah. And, and are they from here? Now? They're from here. What? Yeah, we got it. You probably know them if you if you um when you see them. Yeah. But yeah, their company they have a hard time getting a lot of. Um, you know, what is it? People that have their back here at home, mm -hmm. but on the outside of Cincinnati, they're doing okay. Yeah, you know, so right. they need to really, you know, you need to talk to them. <laughs> yeah, I think that they, they are great. They think they're great. So, so do you uh, plan on doing more events like that to put out yes. the word about pounds uh -huh. of faith? I am going to do that. I'm going to do one at the church. I haven't done it, but they pretty much know about it. So, but I am going to do a, another really big one. And I'm also going to do something which is, I call it DAG, D A G, which is Dozy's. Uh, oh, hold on. I have to look at the notes. <laughs> oh, Dozy always gave. And Dozy is my father. So, Pounds oh, okay. of Faith, like I said, came off of his back, you know, and everything that happened with him. So, DAG would be. Um, I will bake and bake and bake in September, and I, I, we would go into the communities and, and just give away, you know, free okay. little bag of a, a little treat. Bag and you didn't mention like September. September? Oh, yeah. We're going to take a break right now, and we'll be right back, and we're going to talk about September. Pounds of faith, y'all. Tiny Tots Kitty Care, serving the Westwood area for over 18 years, is currently accepting enrollment for children ages 6 weeks to 12 years of age. Now open Monday through Friday, 24 hours a day. For more information, call 513-662-TOTS. That's 513-662-8687. Hi everyone, my name is Monique and I'm a proud owner of Pounds of Faith. You are watching the Berry's Poetic Session and we want to thank you for tuning in with us tonight. And welcome back to Berry's Poetic Session. And we have in the studio the owner of Pounds of Faith, 
Monique Colbert in the studio, helping us. Ooh, they all are sweet too. <laughs> I'm a, you know, I'm a junk food junkie, so I'm loving this show. And before we left, we was talking about what was it September. Like? September um, is the Multicultural Fest at our church. And I heard free food. <laughs> show, so. This year we're gonna have free food as we have a big show stage, and we're gonna have so many different artists. We're gonna have K Drama, uh, Prina. Uh, so many artists that's going to be uh, singing. We got R&B bands also with the church, different church groups. Uh, and, you know, heaven is going to look, it's not going to just be all black and all white. It's going to be a multicultural fest up yeah, there. So, and we're going to come together. So we take the church to the streets. And it's September, September, the 4th, September the 12th. Uh, from 11 to 4 p.m. If you want to be a vendor, please contact me on Facebook. Call me 513-604-1275 and uh, Facebook me. Pounds of Faith. <laughs> oh, you told me. You was, did you, I know. You're going to be a vendor, right? Pounds yeah. of Faith will be in the building. Watch out now. Man, I... And it's gonna be, we had rides for the kids and everything like that. So a lot of different artists, poets. And speaking of poets, <laughs> when did you start writing poetry? I have been writing poetry all my life. Yeah. I've been writing poetry all my life. Like I was telling him, <laughs> for me, um, I'm dyslexic. Mm. So it was my it was a coping thing for me, and it helped me to overcome that. So I was never diagnosed with it and didn't really find out until I was about 19 years old that I was. And um, so I started writing. I, I sure was not know. About 16 years Because I would do the B's and P's and 6 and 9, so I know what you mean. Oh, uh, yeah. And yeah, I would see stuff. It would just be backwards. Yeah, so you were going. So, I so you were you reading Hebrew like, when people were reading. Yeah, writing yeah. But it's, it's so much. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm. I think that I've mastered it to the point where I some I may have a problem sometimes with my reading. I know what it is, but I just have to read it before. Mm -hmm. You know, read it before somebody say, "Can you read that?" <laughs> yes. But um, but yeah, that was a that was a, so it was a, that was another gift of mine. So right, and I'm always telling her she needs to incorporate her poetry with this uh, her house of faith because. I'm a poet, and she sent me some of her pieces, and I'm not, it, it was just like fire, like, it, it was like, it was like, you could feel the passion, Aww, thank you know what you. I mean, so it was like deep I'm words, it was like baby. very profound of things that you was going through, so I thank you for sharing it, You're even welcome. though she don't want to share it today, but anyway. <laughs> we'll have it on another show. No, because it wouldn't sound like that if I was reading it. It's just more felt to write it. Right. For okay. Me, so. okay. <laughs> so back to Pounds of Faith. It's so... We want to get a TV show with this, cooking with Pounds of Faith. I can work out a reality show. That would be show. good. We can work out a reality yeah. show. So uh, you want to this in the magazine? You want all the club, you know, the club that you want to get? Eventually, yeah. You know, eventually, yeah. So um, we talked about trying to get it marketed and in, into the stores. Right. Eventually, but like I said, I don't want to move on it. At least it has to be a, a complete year of just sitting and doing what I'm doing to continue to um, grow the character of the business. You know, so I have a really good following, and um, I know that it's going to grow. I know what the Lord is showing me, and I'm just preparing for it. Right. So I know that it's going to other places, and that I have to let go. I know what's going to happen. Well, if anybody come to you with to um, uh, the business of, because I said this first about the truck. <laughs> what are you laughing at? No, somebody else said that. No, about the, the truck. truck. Come on now, you gonna say somebody else said it? When I asked you, I was like, you asked me if I thought about doing it. And I haven't thought about doing it, but other people have talked about it. What I'm saying is, <laughs> I can take pounds of faith. <laughs> That. And I'm gonna pay you some uh, a small percentage, but I'm gonna just use the name, and okay. then we need to use your bank You got a like franchise, franchise, and, and I'm putting it on. I'm gonna have the truck. Okay. And that's gonna put. So when you get there. the truck, okay, we can talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna have the, the bore horn on the thing. 
Pounds of faith. Pounds of faith. But you gonna have other stuff, right? Or is it just pounds of faith? Mm -hmm. We're gonna have other stuff. Mm -hmm. This is just with dessert. I, yeah, well, we can't have fish and pounds. Yes, you can. <laughs> that ain't gonna work. Yeah, That's I mean, it's good, but. That's your dessert. Yeah. Look, you have to have something else so he has something else to focus on because he's going to eat the. I'm going to eat up. He's going to eat it because I'm baking. That's why you have to get that franchise feed because he, <laughs> he just gives you about it's going to be gospel. <laughs> yes. So if you're just tuning in. He's we'll like me with pizza. Like, you can't yeah, send me to do a pizza. Every pizza place is in America. <laughs> if you're just tuning in, we are in the studio. Our special guest is Mo Meek. I call her Mo, Pounds of Faith, and she is the proud owner. And if you missed the testimony, can you just tell us a little bit more uh, for the people that are just tuning in about how this came about in the summary? Of Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> I'm sorry. Because I think it's an awesome uh, well, testimony. I, well, it came off my father. My father passed away. 2012. Um, I left my job of 15 years to care for my mother, care for my father until he passed away. Um, had no funds coming in, no money, no nothing, no car. Every, I, I filed bankruptcy. I lost a lot. So um, in the midst of just staying home and praying and asking the Lord to give me something that I could do while I was at home caring for my mother, um, this is what happened. So. Um, I baked the cake, put it on Facebook, and everything kind of just took off from there. So. And when you told me that, you remember what I said to you? I was like, you know, I'm always watching movies and <laughs> I'm like, this is, this, uh, this was on Lifetime. That Lifetime show, this, this lady had the <laughs> apple cakes. She started yeah. making apple cakes because she, um, she was going, her house was going to What are you home. doing watching Lifetime? That's what I could have had. It was a show <laughs> on, on Lifetime. On Lifetime. Mm -hmm. And it was very, no, no. I didn't watch, I didn't yeah, watch uh -huh. it. I heard it. <laughs> it was apple cakes. She was building these apple cakes. I worked. She was making these apple cakes because she, um, her house was going to foreclosure and whatever. It was, what was that? Um, Step like a lady. You might have to get on you after the <laughs> no, I, I didn't see the whole mm -hmm. thing. I but if I did, did, I'm putting it out there, I did. But I didn't. But I, when she told me this, that's what I thought about. Is that lady who plays in How to Kill a Murder, Be a Murder, or something. Get Away with Murder on that show. Oh, Black lady, oh How to Get Away with Murder? Yeah. yeah What's her name? I forget her name, but she. she uh, she's famous. Yeah, she, well, she was the star. Right of she, Davis. What's her name? Right over. Alright, so and that's what I thought about you about that and, and, and the testimony was so awesome. So what's next for pounds of faith? N listen, so name all the, the desserts that you have <laughs> so far. So far, so and far. how would you create a new one? Or have anybody been requesting like I want me a seven up uh well, upside down sweet potato? <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, a lot of people okay. request cheesecakes. Okay, yeah. And German oh. chocolate cakes. And, Ooh, but cheesecake. those are, I can't do anything outside of pound cake right now because mm. the main focus is the pound cake. And I'm but can't on the you name. put the, instead of that cream, can't you put cheesecake on top of the pound cake? See, I didn't make, I didn't, I'm a pat in that. <laughs> I'm a pat in that. Peanut butter, peanut butter, jelly pound cake. No. Mm -mm. Are you crazy? No. Pizza. No, no. Don't let them know pizza. So I have the crumb. So, but do people request stuff that you sometimes be like, I can't do that? Or? They do. I can do it, but I just can't do it outside of that within this year. I can't do it. So eventually I'm going to branch out and do other things, but the focus has to stay and remain on pounds, pound cake. Right. You know, and then um, I'm going to branch out and do other things right now, but I'm still creating different ideas for pound, Pounds of Faith, you know. And this is my question to you, because I, I know a lot of females that can bake, but can you cook? Yep. And I thought you was going to bring this up, when you said a sample box, because mm -hmm. you know I eat pork. I thought you were going to bring us some food, too. Like. No, you didn't. That's what you did. Yes, you did. As a matter of fact, he was telling me we're going to have lunch. Because you asked. 
You so, asked for a I'm like, nah, I was like, where's the lunch at? This is all I do. I don't eat pork. You didn't say that about that. I thought you, because you was like, yeah, I can cook. I, I can't, but I would, that didn't mean I was, no. <laughs> on the next show. <laughs> so, Pounds of Faith is strictly pound cake products. It is, yes. Right no there. Lunches. Except for, mm. no. <laughs> Except for the, um, I do the strawberry shortcakes. Mm. And, um, it's not made out of pound cake. It's so. a shortcake, but it's good. Yeah. Well, how did they get on the menu with everybody requesting that? Because about? I made it for my mother's birthday, her 75th birthday, a big what? giant one. And Ooh. other people started asking me if I could make it. And because it really was um, easy for me to make it and quick for me to make it, I went ahead and edited it because so many people were asking and requesting it. So. All right. So, Ned. thank you, Mama. <laughs> Ned. <laughs> so yeah. Monique, mm -hmm. Mo, what is your favorite? I don't eat it. She doesn't get her on her own supply. <laughs> right. I don't. don't. Eat it. I, I'm not a cake eater, no. I, you know. She can't eat her own product? Well, I might like put it in my mouth, but I, you know. <laughs> I, I might, I'll taste them. But I'll get my son to taste it or my daughter. Or I have tasters. I didn't know that. So you could be a taster. So you don't eat cake? Uh -uh. Uh -uh. What? Do you eat sweet like pie? No. You don't eat no sweets like? Uh -uh. You can't. Get I mean, I have to have a taste. This for stuff is it. so good. Eat one. I mean, this eat is like right a doctor. No. <laughs> you gonna eat it's like a food. doctor. You know how a doctor delivering babies. They just don't, it don't turn them on. I mean, you know what I mean. It don't. Where we going? Where, where we going with this right here? You know, a doctor, don't you know how them. they see so much of the same thing. I'm like this with the cakes. I see it all the time, so it don't, don't fade. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But. Well, I see it. So, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. So, he's, he's digging in. <laughs> That's the lemon on lemon? It's lemon on lemon. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> he obviously likes lemon on lemon. It's a good sugar cone. And, mm -hmm. and, that and, I'm, and I've started doing diabetic now, so I finally got that to master. Yeah. Oh, so. see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you, you know, I'm gonna charge a, a lot of people with that. Ice cream with you? Mm -hmm. Did you say ice cream? <laughs> Come on. It's not even. We gotta take this to a next level, <laughs> bro. <laughs> I'm on my kid's birthday party. We want an ice. Hey, <laughs> our kids always want an ice cream cake. You got an ice cream bath cake? That's ah, yeah. a thought. There you go. That's a thought. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. We got a little video today. She make an ice cream bath cake. I get three percent of y'all. <laughs> but anyway, just tuning in. Monique is in the house with oh, Pounds of Faith. Pounds of Faith. Monique. Check her out on Facebook in order to get your Pounds yes. of Faith. So you're not going to do it for you, right? <laughs> well, I know you got all your phone. Why I keep asking you this because, <laughs> man, I'm telling y'all, y'all know I'm a poet. When I read her stuff, mm, it was good as these. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, no. Yeah. Oh. you got a lot of stuff written down. Right there. Yeah, that's just Anything so else you want to uh, talk about before? Well, I'm going to ask you this. What do Monique like to do in her spare time? Matter of fact. I don't have any spare time. What's your, right now. What's your top five <laughs> songs? What's your songs right now in your car you're listening to? Um, I don't know. I listen to a lot. So What's in your car right, right now that you listen to? Marvin Sapp. Of course. Marvin Sapp. And um, I listen to a lot of gospel music. Okay. So. Marvin Sapp. That's my boy. All right. Smokey Norfolk. All right. What's your favorite movie? Uh, Love and Basketball. Love and Basketball. Uh -huh. I like that movie. What's your favorite color? Purple. Why? It's royal. Uh, <laughs> watch out now. <laughs> out now. See, purple. Right. Okay. All right. Piles of flavor. I'm going to have to go to the dentist tomorrow. <laughs> and give them your information. Like, how can I get a whole truffle? 
<laughs> Call box. Not a box. <laughs> how, can, how can we get in touch with you? Facebook. My phone number is on, on there. There is a uh, website on Facebook. Or, I don't know what you call it. But there's a link on Facebook. Pounds of Faith. So you can just put that in and it'll take you straight to Pounds of Faith. So, so, do you have, so you have your own Facebook page of uh -huh. Pounds of Faith? I do. Don't tell me now. I'm telling you now. It's on there. If you click on there, or if you just go and you do a Mayor search, Herb. if you search Pounds of Faith on Facebook, it'll come up. Man, her went to high school together. You just telling me that? Yeah, we was in the radio broadcast together. Yeah. And we don't know what I'm talking about because she never used to speak to me. But anyway, um, that is not true. Pounds of Faith radio broadcast, but you didn't talk. Now she on the right. Now she on the real radio broadcast. <laughs> Look how God works. So you're on Facebook, and how can, so how do the orders work? What is the process? Are, we, are you just getting orders from word of mouth? Uh, or how long does it take? 24 hours, 48, or does it depend um, on how size you are? It, it depends on what I have going on. But I normally ask people to, at least two days in advance, okay. you know, so I know what I got going on. So mm -hmm. getting to the point where I go to, I can go to my church and, and I can bake out of the kitchen if I want because I need the space. But, um, um, mm, 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 mm. PayPal, you can find me, you can search me out, you can find me on PayPal too. And uh, just go to Facebook. Okay. So what is the, um, what is the most uh, uh, that you had to bank on? Biggest order delivery. Uh, I had 200, Ooh. yeah I had 200, about 200 of these bikes here, so. And how long do it take you to uh, bank? Is that a two day tour? To do 200? No, I can do that in a couple of hours. Oh, wow. Yeah, I can do that in my kitchen. As your kitchen at mm home? -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, because I could bake maybe about, about 84 at a time. Wow. So, that's what's up. So when you go to your church, you, it's a bigger level of stuff. Because I know you are uh, um, different companies or hospitals or something you was delivering to. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's a couple of businesses downtown that I delivered to. And a couple a couple of nursing homes I delivered to, hospitals as well. Yeah, how did that so, come about? Like, because if I go visit somebody or, you know, whatever, I, 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 take a, yeah, I take a box of goodies and give it to them. Give them some them? cards. Yeah, you know. <laughs> See, I told you, <laughs> don't get high. On the <laughs> yeah, you gotta get out there and, and promote your business like that. So, so I gave away a lot of. I do some um, contests on Facebook. They're all Christian contests. So okay. I may have them name something or a list of something, and whoever wins, they win cake. Yeah. So a lot of people get involved because they want to win. They don't want to pay twenty five dollars right. <laughs> for a cake. So, you know. It works. Oh, okay. So, so Facebook has been really helping you really out because mm -hmm. you started from there and yeah. it's been really helping you out. Mm -hmm. Are, do you have an Instagram? And some people don't like you to be on Facebook and put stuff on Facebook uh, all the time. Right. Yeah, yeah. I just I'm don't working. like when people like. But for me, I just, it's a tool to oh, get real, we going in, we're going in. I'm just saying, it's, I'm just, for I'm me, gonna... it's a tool. <laughs> To, to, to get it, the right. business out there, and yeah. a lot of my customers come through, and they've been with me from the beginning, so they right. know. So I try to give them tidbits of what's going on, yeah. or, you know. I understand so, that if you're yeah. using it for your business, then, oh, yeah. but I just think like too many people are consumed on Facebook. If you if you, you promote your business, we went to a seminar, and we do a media. We have to be on all this stuff, and I, mm -hmm. I think our friend Nadia is going to help us with the uh, um, Instagram. Do you have an Instagram page? I do, uh, and tweet Twitter. What is that? <laughs> See, that's I the know. dumbest I'm thing. I'm finally trying to figure it out. Yeah. Why yeah. are you going to tell everybody? If people do that on Facebook. Well, I don't do that. I don't know. Hey, look. Look what's doing. This, uh, I just ate this pickle and it tastes bad. I'm ta I took my shoes off downstairs. <laughs> I don't do that. But it, it's right. helpful for me. I posted it on um, Channel 19. I'll be delivering some stuff to Channel 19. Okay. Um, I'm going to send our business week. card to them. So. I'll send my business card until 19th. So I'm going to send some stuff over there. And um, I think I'm, I'm going to do something with my Kelvin Benai. Um, we're going to put together something there. We'll oh, another event? Not the event. We're going to do another. We're going to do something else together. Do you I have an event know. so we can talk about it right now that's coming up that you know about? Mm -mm. Just September. 
That's why just the one in September. That's right. And then the one that I'm going to be doing in September. It's not an event. It's really going into the community and going to the, the homeless shelters and just coming downtown and going where people are just out there. Would you know just go out and talk to them, give them a treat, a little bottle of water, you know. So, and that's the memory of my father because my father, heart was so big, he just he never said no. He always mm -hmm. was giving, always was helping somebody. So, so this is a memory of him. And you and I'll be doing it every year. So every that. year, and what community or are you just going to sit down? And it doesn't matter. It just depends on where. If I get people to say I want to do this downtown, I want to do this in Woodland, I want to do this in Avondale. Right. It doesn't matter. Right. Okay. You know, so we'd be out just out in the street. So. Okay. Is you do you got anybody helping you besides your family? Not at this time. So I still have to work on it because that's new. It's something new for me. I know that I need to do it, and I know that I want to. It's going to happen. And this would be the first year for it, but I'm going to get some volunteers too. Volunteers? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, are you one of those people <laughs> I'm probably that just don't want, you want to control everything? You don't want nobody like, I'm, like you No, that's right. not true. Well, I'm saying, oh, okay. Can, can, uh -uh. can you just, because this is your baby, mm -hmm. and then just go out like, so you will let somebody else bake it? No. <laughs> No, nobody else is going to bake it right now, but I know eventually that is going to happen. You know? mm -hmm. It's going to happen. It's a slow so, process. So I guess I was right. Right now, I am. No, no, you're not. <laughs> right now, everything has to be right. It has to be right. Right. So, but I am doing taste. I'm letting people do tastings for me, hosting tasting. So it's kind of like a selling Tupperware. You know, and then you get your pro uh, process together and then be able to work with other people. Yeah, sense, so. and that also creates that, that small fellowship like arena where people can come in to the tastings at somebody's house and they can taste and talk and fellowship and share testimonies and you know. Right. So it kind of keeps it small and personal. So I kind of want to hold on to that for at least a year before we go. I go. So. And do you have shout outs? I want to shout out to everybody that's on Facebook because if it wasn't for them and by, look at him, everybody that's on there that buys and they know who they are, I thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm grateful and thankful. So um, I shout out to my son and my daughter because they help me when I need help and, uh, and to my best friends. Shout out to your mother. I shout out to my mother and my brother in Alabama and to the Lord, of course. He said uh, Alabama. I'm going to yes. try to give them a, a Facebook page where we can get Pounds of Faith. Just look me up up under Monique Colbert or Pounds of Faith. Just put it in there. And it'll come up. All right. So I know y'all texting me right now to get, get an order in. And uh, we'll meet you at White Castles. And, uh, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> White Castles. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. See, I'm doing poetry. That's so my. Yeah. Sometimes, <laughs> you know, somebody live on the other side of town, they don't want to come to where I'm at, you know. Right. So, well, we got to find somewhere we got to meet at. <laughs> That's, in the middle. No, yeah. in the middle. And you know, I've been on Facebook that much, and I seen when she did the setup at uh, Sugar Hill, I was like, and she had, she had this nice little white dress on her thing. No. Look at now, Diva Fied, and the, and the cakes was out. Oh, it was nice. <laughs> I was like, what? I want to give me some, and I want to support. This is going up. This is going to be <laughs> it. Then I did my order. She said, meet me at White House. She said, one minute. Thank you, son. <laughs> one minute. You got anything else you want to talk about real quick? No, nope, I think I pretty much said everything. Are sure? Yep. Any more shout outs? Anybody leave out? Mm -hmm. I'm sure. I'm sure. We thank you for being here today. and um, Thank you for having me. Are we going to pray out? Yeah. So, if our minds are clear, I want the bills ring. Our minds are clear, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We will not take any day for granted because we know tomorrow is not promised. Lord, we ask you to enlarge our sister territory for everything that she does with pounds of faith that you will get the glory. Uplift her physically, mentally, and spiritually. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Pounds of faith is in the building. And we'll see you next time on Barry's Place. If you want some pounds of faith, just give me a call. Because I have that truck. <laughs> I'm going to sell watermelon, pounds of faith. And chicken.
it say why you had it? And then for real, you gonna go there? And I was gonna say lemonade uh, slushies, but anyway, she had to throw the chicken in. Oh uh, yeah, I love chicken. You know, I have to have her <laughs> diversity. <laughs> Diversity training. <laughs> 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 That's the y'all.